I have limited time. Let me just ask you something else. What percent of CDC employees are vaccinated? We're actively encouraging vaccination in all of our employees and doing a lot of education and outreach in order to get our agency fully vaccinated. And the, but the percent? I, I don't have that for you today. I'm told that 75, to, um, some north of 75% of CDC employees at headquarters are still working remotely. Is that correct? Um, we are following uh, regulations through HHS and the federal government. No, that's not my question. I apologize to be rude, but, but, but I'm asking a very straightforward question. I've been told that north of 75% of employees at, at, at CDC headquarters are working remotely. Is that correct? Senator, I don't actually know the number off the top of okay, my head. When you so look I'd down the to... hallway, are there empty desks? Are over 50% of the desks empty? Senator, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head. What I will tell you is that we're working closely within HHS and the administration to follow the governmental rules for return to the There was a recent GAO report that shows, and released in the last two weeks, that there's been no coordinated response from the federal government to get people back into work. Now, if there's any agency that, since we have teachers in Fulton County are back at work, that the caseload of COVID in Fulton County is about 88. At its peak, it was 606. Uh, if what I've been told by someone who, frankly, kind of knows, that people in laboratories are not showing up. I have no clue how people, how laboratory workers who presumably are vaccinated wearing PPE would consider themselves eligible to stay at home. Uh, I say this because I just want to echo. We've got to lead by example in the federal government. If our public health agencies don't have enough confidence in the immunization and in the PPE to go back to work fighting infectious diseases, there's going to be a lot of undermining of, an, of a willingness to further fund public health. We absolutely have our essential labs back at work conducting their essential research towards this response. And um, you, we are following the regulations and providing technical assistance and technical, technical support to the federal government for return to work policies. Uh, one more thing, I had, uh, Angus King and I had sent a letter dated February the 25th asking about genomic surveillance. We've still not received a response. You referenced it in your early remarks. Both Senator King and I would appreciate a response. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. The